In this video, I want to go over problems or inverse percentage problems. Okay, so let's first find the uh, right way or the straight way. Okay, suppose let's do a simple problem. Say, if the question is, say, uh, you have to increase, you want to increase, increase, say, uh, $84, $84 by 20%. Let's take a simple example. So how do you do it? So one one way is a long way. You find 20%, add the 20% onto this. That will increase this 84 by 20%. So uh, the long way is say, 84, $84 plus 20% of 84. Okay, there's nothing wrong here, but later on you need to do this in one step. So basically what you're doing is you're finding 20% and then adding 20% onto this. So well, that is 84 plus 20% 20 of 84, which is 0 0.2 times 84. Okay, so which is 84 plus... 0 0.2 times 84 so let me do use a calculator 0 0.2 times 84 is 16.8 so this is 16.8 so that is how many dollars so 84 plus 6 is 90 108 100 point 6 or 100 point 8 dollars okay so Let's think about this in a different way. How would you do this This in a different way? Now, I'm going to use a bit of algebra. So this same thing, can we write this as 100% of 84 plus 0 20% of 84? 20% of 84. So what is 100% of 84? Instead of writing 84, I can write that as 100% of 84. So this is 100% if you want to write that as a number. So this is 100% uh, plus 80, sorry, 100% of 84 plus 20% of 84 is same as 120% of 84. Okay. And 120% of 84 is same as 1.2 times 84. Because 120% is 120 divided by 100, which is 1.2. That would give you the same answer. So let's do this directly. 1.2 times 84 will give you 100.8. So the answer is $100.8. So this is one way of directly doing this. So when you're increasing basically something by 20%, you have to times it by 1.2, which is a factor. Okay, so let's look at a uh, one more problem. Okay, say if the question is, say you want to decrease, let's do a problem, decrease, say, Let's take a neat number, say $140 or $140 by, say, 30%. Okay, so basically what you're doing is you're finding from 140, you take away 30% of 140. So basically the same thing can be written as 140 take away 30% of 140. And 30% of 140 is same as 0 0.3 times 140. So 140, this is a long way, take away 0 0.3 times uh, 140 times 140 will give you the answer. So let's do this like this. So this is 140, take away, so 0 0.3 times 140 equals 42 so you take away 42 so 140 take away 42 40 is 100 
and then take away 2 which is 98 okay so this is a long way so as I discussed in the last part so the same thing can be written as instead of writing 140 can I write that is same as 100% of 140 take away 30% of 140 and that is same as so if you take from 100% of 140 if you take away 30% of 140 how much is remaining well that is 70% of 140 70% 70 of 140 so basically that is 70% is 0.7 times 140 would should give should give you the same answer so let's try that 0 0.7 times 140 which is 98 so it is the same answer 98 okay so let's uh, look at the application of inverse percentage or uh, pers inverse percentage problem of increasing and decreasing okay so let's look at this problem uh, what does it say uh, it the price of a toy inclusive of 15% GST is 89.30 so when uh, so let's so the question is what is the price without GST what is the price without GST so let's make up a say this is let's make say this is a price price without GST without GST and this is the price with GST so when you are to find the price with GST you're going to add 15 percent to the price without GST so what should be the factor here so if you go from year to year you're increasing by 15 percent so when you're increasing by 15%, basically you're finding 115%. Okay, so 100% is the the price without GST plus 15%, and this, if you want to write as a decimal, is 1.15. So basically, from price for from price without GST to the to get the price with GST, you would multiply by 1.15. And so if you want to go this from year to year, so this is an inverse problem, you have to divide by 1.15. Okay, so what they are saying is that this price is 89.30. So to get to this price, well, you have to just divide 89.30, not 39, 89.30. divided by 1.15 so for those of you who don't understand the process is basically when you want to find the price without GST from the price with GST you're going to divide by 1.15 okay and the reason is to get the pr to get to the price with GST you're going to multiply by 1.15 okay so let me cancel this so 89.3 divided by 1.15 which is 77.65 so in 2 dp the answer is 77.65 now to check your answer both ways find 15% of this and add to this that should give you this okay so if you want to find 15 percent so let's add 50, find 15 percent of this so to find 15 percent of this what would you do 77.65 times 0 0.15 which is 14.65 okay so let me show you that so rounding it to 2 dp 11.6475 is 11.65 so this is 11.65 so this is the GST component so this is the GST so this is the price without GST plus GST gives you the price 
with GST. So let's confirm it. So let's cancel this. 77.65 plus 11.65. Equals 89.3. Okay. Okay. So let's take one example of decreasing. Find the original area of a section which is reduced by 18% to 660 meters squared. So again, let's draw. So this is the original section. This is the original area. And this is the new area. So the new area is how much? Is 660 meters squared. And that was obtained by reducing by 18%. Okay, so so basically you go 100%, take away 18%. Because you're reducing by 18%, which is how much? Which is 70, uh, 100 take away 10 is 90 take away 8 which is 82 percent so if you had gone from year to year you would have multiplied by 0 0.82 so if you want to go from year to year you would do the opposite of this way which is divided by 0 0.82 okay so just go 660 cancel this 660 divided by 0 0.82 equals 804.8 or 0 0.9 uh, or so let's say 805 so let's round it to a whole number so this is so 804.8 if you want to round into 1 dp is 804.9 0.9 meter squared. Okay.